Setting up scenes with rigid body physics in Blender usually means assigning collisions, toggling simulation settings, and hoping nothing explodes once you press play. But this new add-on called Scatterflow skips that whole routine, because it is built around physics-based scene layout, dropping, spawning, scattering, and manipulating objects without touching nodes or writing expressions. It is from the same developer who made OpenScatter, but this time the focus is on interactive scene layout. Instead of scattering foliage with geometry nodes, you are using tools that react in real time, drop objects into place, toss debris around, or fill a container just by playing the timeline. The most basic feature is drop simulation. You select an object, add physics, and hit play. As long as the floor is marked passive, the object will fall and settle. This makes it quick to pile up assets, things like bottles, boxes, or debris, without needing to position them by hand. Of course, it can sometimes have imperfections with deformed surfaces since it uses Blender Rigid Body System. The Quick Spawn tool uses a sphere to emit objects from a selected collision. Pressing the Spawn button generates random objects at that point, already set up with physics. You can control scale and the number of objects, and there is also an option to keep spawning while playback is running, which is useful if you are trying to fill containers or build up large piles of clutter without restarting each time. For now physics placement, surface scatter handles randomized scattering across different mesh surfaces. It is not using particles or geonodes, it just drops instant props across the mesh with control over randomness and count. You can turn off the physics entirely if you are laying out background detail or adding visual noise without simulation. The array tool builds uniform layouts using count and spacing across the X, Y, and Z axes, as well as adding physics to them. This is helpful for things like stack crates, book piles, or shelf props, in addition to similar things. The quick grid tool does something similar for single objects, so you can duplicate them in clean rows without needing to model each one. Physics can be added later, depending on whether you want those objects to stay static or fall. There is also a manipulation tool for hands-on control. You can pick up, drag, or throw objects using a force field. Press U to switch between pick up and drop, and G to move the tool in the viewport. Left click and then hit U again to release. Blender doesn't allow throwing and moving at the same time due to simulation limits, but it still works well for nudging props into place or creating small interactive adjustments. Scatterflow includes some simple cloth setup tools. You can turn selected meshes into cloth objects, assign or remove colliders, and apply the final simulation. The site tools let you duplicate, freeze, or remove physics from selected objects if you are building up layers like frozen trash at the bottom of a bin. Before adding more, you can freeze the first pass and keep going. There is also collision shape adjustments and origin utilities to help with the alignment, especially when switching between simulation and static placement. If you prefer the geometry node route, Scatterflow includes integration with OpenScatter. You can use slope, proximity, and pattern-based scatter systems right alongside the interactive tools. It is easy to jump between the two, quick spawn for rough layout, open scatter for precise distribution, and that's it. Scatterflow also comes with an optional asset pack of over 450 objects, like trash piles, nature props, construction debris, and more. Most of them are optimized for simulation, with good scale and clean geometry. It is not required, but it is a helpful way to get scenes built fast, especially for testing. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this great add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. If you guys found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.